Uh, board members, for this evening's Accent on Academics information will be shared regarding our Summer Academy 2023. Summer Academy is designed to provide students with a variety of engaging educational activities aimed at not only preventing summer learning loss, but also fostering a love for learning outside of the traditional school year. Uh, this summer, YCSD offered a variety of camps that allowed students to explore their interest while also trying something new. Recognizing the pivotal role families play in a student's educational journey, the school division also provided summer opportunities for families to learn together. Tonight, Dr. Bob Sherlock, Associate Director of Secondary Instruction and Academic Programs, um, along with invited guests, will provide an overview of the 2023 Summer Academy program. Dr. Sherlock. Good evening, Madam Chair, members of the board, Dr. Shandor. Tonight we'll be showcasing YCSD summer programs, which will include our summer academy, summer camps, and our family engagement uh, events. So first, I'd like to start with our elementary school summer academy. Uh, Dr. Uh, Horrell and uh, Ms. King uh, hosted these at Dare and Magruder Elementary. We had 583 students uh, being served at those two schools. That's up 71 students from last year. So we're definitely making an impact and uh, popularity with our students. Uh, we also hosted the ESY or Extended School Year program at both those sites, led by Ms. Uh, Thackeray. Uh, the program centered around a, a number of key strategies. First, the positive relationships. First, I'd like you to just look at those pictures. I, I visited classrooms quite a bit, and those pictures represent what you'd see on a normal day of those 20 days of Summer Academy. Smiles, not just from kids, but from, uh, from teachers as well. Uh, both uh, Ms. King and Dr. Harrell, they did a great job as far as just getting that, uh, and all the staff, as far as getting the um, culture to really be fun and engaging in, in, in a learning environment. Uh, also, uh, that engaging culture led to uh, or helped support reinforcing the English and math skills to make sure those students are prepared for the next uh, grade level. And really using the, the collective commitment of every single staff member to make sure that all students at the elementary level had those engaging experiences, which again led to those successes that we saw uh, in those classes. Uh, for our middle school program, Ms. Harrison led uh, this uh, as a principal at Yorktown Middle. Uh, for Summer Academy. We served 121 students uh, during uh, those five weeks of Summer Academy. And again, very similar to the elementary program. She built in positive relationships uh, through uh, the theme of Welcome to Paradise. She wanted to make sure the kids didn't feel like they're going to five more weeks. I mean, they were, but they, she wanted to really set, up, set them up for success where they're excited about going to school. Uh, and again, uh, through uh, the, the variety of staff and teachers, uh, they created that engaging culture through that theme. Uh, and they also used uh, PBIS, Positive Behavior Intervention Supports, to really make sure kids uh, were rewarded for doing what's right. Uh, we also had um, the uh, ESY program, the Extended School Year program there as well. Again, that program, students worked on skills uh, that were uh, related to their IEP. Uh, at the high school level, uh, Ms. Uh, Harless and Ms. McNally led this program where we, nearly 500, is 400 and let me check my notes, 488 uh, credits were earned, both a combination between uh, original credit and credit recovery. Uh, and again, uh, what a great opportunity for students to both uh, advance in those original credit and to make up those credits uh, for, for when, again, they wanted to, when students need to make up those credits for graduation. Uh, the best part was August 28th, we had seven graduates walk that stage, uh, finish, go through that finish line, and receive their high school diploma. Uh, again, that was a great event for, for families and of course the students as well. I would like to say all in all, uh, through both the uh, elementary, middle, and high school programs, summer academy programs, we served 1,098 kids, right? Where, so with five weeks of programs that they would not have normally gotten elsewhere. So I think that's a great um, accomplishment for our staff and for our sites. We didn't stop there though. At the high school level, uh, we wanted to make sure kids were prepared for those rigorous courses. And so we had a, nearly 150 students participate in uh, advanced placement boot camp, right? AP boot camp. Uh, think about taking your first AP, a rigorous course, maybe a rising ninth grader taking human geography. You've never seen that course before, right? Or your, it might be a first AP class you're taking, AP Calc, AP Physics. And you need to see a little bit of what that looks like. Teachers were, it was, it was virtual, but teachers did go through the rigor and kind of what that course would look like over four sessions, uh, total about 10 hours, to kind of guide those kids through that, those programs. 
In addition, we hosted uh, a total of four sessions of PSAT and SAT prep course, again, to really give students those strategies to be successful at those high, um, at those high yield, uh, at those high stakes tests for our students. Um, Ms. Fitz, uh, Ms. Fitzky is going to be talking about our summer camp program. Good evening. My name is Brittany Fitzky, and I had the privilege of leading the elementary summer academy enrichment camps this summer, um, along with Mr. Brian Roberts, who led our middle school camps. Um, throughout the summer, we had three-week, two-week, and one-week camps, as you can see listed here. Um, and they offered a variety of opportunities for our students to engage in some different educational um, and exciting experiences. So some things that students may have never tried before, or some things that students really wanted to enhance on their skills. Um, one of the things that we experienced with the sixth grade math prep was for students that were rising sixth graders that were going to be enrolled in pre-algebra six. And these students, we had about 70 students interested in this camp. Um, we were able to accommodate about 50. And one of the culminating events was for students to solve algebraic equations in order to find the answers to the ingredients in a recipe to make Play-Doh. Um, and so that's the first picture that you see is one of their um, final events of the camp. Um, we also had a reader's theater camp where students were practicing fluency and expression uh, by um, reading scripts, plays, poems um, that they got to share with each other and then also um, in front of their different uh, groups of classes. Um, we had a variety of camps that students got to explore, and um, one of my personal favorite parts of the camps was being able to make those connections and relationships. I got to meet a few different teachers from across the division that ran our camps um, and be able to build those connections with them, as well as the staff at Dare Elementary where the camps were hosted, the secretary, the custodians, um, and our bus drivers as well, who all kind of worked together to make sure that the camps were successful for our students. Um, and then also seeing the student relationships and the bonds that some of the students had. A few of them continued on. They did two or three camps throughout the summer. Um, and they were able to build those friendships across the division, which was really um, impactful. And it was just great to see the different experiences that students were provided um, that they may not have gotten otherwise throughout our camps. But I'd like to turn it over to a few of our campers. So first, uh, Grace Tomlin, who was part of the chess and computer science camp. So the best part about the chess camp is you had to do a tournament and you had a chance to win a trophy. And I like that. And my favorite part is I got to win a chess board to help me, to te help me teach my dad how to play. Chess. <laughs> <laughs> Just <forget how> to lose. <laughs> and I did Makerspace. Makerspace we did. Makerspace we did. We did Scratch and we did pro we Scratch is when we like program to make games and stuff. And we did Last Pass is help if your password is weak or not. Thank you, Grace. Thank you. I'd like to welcome Eden and Jack Braxton, who are part of the World Language Camps. All right. Hola, llamo Jack. Bonjour, je m'appelle Eden. At World Language Camp, I like the activities and games. I learned letters, colors, and I learned how to, how to count in Spanish by keeping a balloon up in the air. This is my first time learning a different language. My favorite part of World Language Camp for middle schoolers was the international snacks. It gave me the opportunity to taste popular foods from different parts of the world. My brother and I practiced Spanish at home and in the car. Gracias. Merci. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I'd like to welcome Caden Griffin, who is going to speak to our middle school band camps. Good evening. My name is Caden 
Griffin, and I am a seventh grader at Queens Lake Middle School, and I attended summer band camp. We had the opportunity to work with three other middle school band instructors and one high school instructor. One of the middle school instructors was my band teacher, Ms. Ronkowski. Mr. Jarvis was the high school instructor who will also be my band teacher when I get to Bruton. Every day we split up into sections based on our instrument to practice our music. We learned three songs in two weeks, and on the last day of camp, we performed the songs we learned in a concert for our parents. I enjoy being able to meet and work with other middle school band students, especially those that play saxophone like me. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Brayden. I, all the students, I think, had a great time. My son was also in the chess and the computer science course, so it was kind of fun hearing the different perspective of, uh, of Grace. So uh, in a, our, our final item we'll be talking about for summer um, programs is our family engagement night. I gotta say, I am so proud of uh, both Ms. Roberts and Ms. Fiske for the work they did with this along with our staff. Um, we did a variety of different events, as you can see there, from elementary to secondary, where the, the, the goal really was to not just have kids come to our campuses, but to their families, the grandparents, the guardians, uh, the parents, and uh, not do things separately in two different rooms, but work on things together. Uh, and so uh, another additional item we wanted to work with is building our community partners. We worked with Mariners um, Museum, NASA, uh, Bayport Credit, uh, Federal Credit Union, and um, the Yorktown Libraries to really make sure that it's not just YCSD doing these items, but it's the entire community that are uh, working on these family engagement items. Again, you see some, some pictures there from a variety of our events. However, I thought it would be, would be better to hear right from the parents themselves. Uh, so I do have uh, a mom and a dad of two parents who will talk about two of the, uh, three of these events that they, uh, went, that they went through. Good evening, hi. We are um, an active duty Air Force family. And this is our first summer here, so we um, participated in all the things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we did uh, the math captivating cards at uh, Dare Elementary, and uh, we, we continue to still, at home, play the, the math games that we learned. I liked how the facil facilitator, she walked around, she offered tips and answered any of our questions. Um, our son, Jack, who was here, um, he loves to play games, and so we were able to connect with him that way. Um, we also attended the Bingo for Books. Um, each of our children won two books by playing bingo. We loved that there was a reading specialist there that um, gave us little lessons on phonetics. Because a lot of times, you know, parents, we don't know these things. So, you know, she's giving us these tips, so it's awesome. Oh, and also the therapy dogs, Pause for Reading, was there, and that was really cool to see them. Good evening. We also uh, attended the NASA STEM night. We got to meet all the engineers that were there. Uh, a lot of them were women, which is a positive role model for my daughter, who is also aspiring to be uh, an engineer. Um, they had a lot of different learning activities. One of the activities they had was that we built a satellite with Legos, and we had to calculate the, the payload uh, weight and the, um, like the power usage for those. Uh, and then we got to go outside and look at the surface of the sun using various telescopes and binoculars. Uh, it was a great experience for the family, you know, we, and we really enjoyed it. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So I do want to thank uh, the board for continuing to support these summer programs. Uh, and uh, a big special thanks to all of the teachers and support staff who came together during the, you know, during the summer vacation to come and do those kind of programs for our parents and for our families and for our kids. So I just want to thank all of them as well uh, for that. Um, we, this concludes our presentation on the 2023 Summer Academy and Programs. Uh, we are happy to take any questions or comments at this time. Thank you very much. I, I, I just think it needs to be noted how many different opportunities parents, community members, and students had between traditional uh, academics and credit recovery that typically happens, but now the extensions and all the different enrichments that we offer. And then you see the type of, of support and outpouring we get from the community at those events. Like I remember hearing about the bingo for books, you know, we, we were thinking 50, 60 people and you filled up the room, you know, with like double that. So I just think it's a wonderful, you know, opportunity and to see how it's grown from um, what we had before COVID then during COVID and how it's just sort of blown up here is fantastic. 
fantastic to see those and to see the students, you know, come here and, and talk about their, um, you know, favorite opportunities and what they did and what they learned and then hearing that they all took it home, you know, and, and were doing those things at home uh, to engage their families with it is just wonderful. So it wasn't a question, but I just wanted to talk about how incredible those opportunities are because there are a lot of places that are yearning for that and don't have right. the means for it. And can I say, so on all those programs, the credit recovery and the original credit, those were a cost for, for families. Um, but everything else, elementary, middle, the camps, all, all those family engagement, were, were totally free. Uh, no cost to our families or our kids. So again, another positive thing that we're bringing mm -hmm. to our, our, our folks. I, I just think it's awesome, uh, the number of students that came out. And uh, it, it must be kind of fun when you have the middle school summer academy and it's paradise. Uh, that's kind of surprising. But uh, I did have a question because I saw the band camp and I'm, um, I'm in the band. Uh, and uh, uh, how many kids were at, at, the, at the band camp, would you say, roughly? 80. Wow. Oh, that's great. Wow. That is. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's really great. good. That's cool. OK. The other question is, who liked the chess club? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now, did you, did you learn how to play, or what, what was it? I learned how to play. You already knew how? Or you learned oh, how? She learned. learned. Ah, that's, that's cool. Good. We want to know if you beat your dad, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of the he plan. He says yes. <laughs> just, just another comment. It's certainly important for the, the summer um, academy and the summer camps for the students, but more importantly, the family engagement nights. That's the real important aspect that brings the family in together. And, uh, you know, the PTA has always tried to do it here and there in their schools, and they do a great job at it. They still do um, when they do, you know, family uh, event nights. But um, for us as a division to also institute that as well, I think is great. We need to continue that. So good job. Thank yes. you. Yep, absolutely. And it's not a one-off, as, as you probably know. Uh, all of these, the camps and all the other uh, instruction, if you will, it, these are all threads that permeate through the curriculum and also the operational framework, particularly career con connections up and down all grade levels and applicable to all families um, and all students. So hats off to you guys. It's wonderful. And to our new family, welcome to YCSD. Yes. Um, yes. I'm grateful that you jumped in right away and got involved. Great. Um, I think I've said it one million times up here, but just uh, parental and family involvement is so important for student mm -hmm. success. And we're grateful that you jumped in with both feet. And now you probably met a lot of great families and a lot of great, great kids right. that you're able to connect with before that school year started. And, so. yeah. and thanks for your service. We greatly yes. appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you for a great presentation, everybody. <laughs> appreciate it.